Hey, what's up, everyone? This is John from VG Revolution right here on YouTube. Thank you for tuning in. This is a special Let's Play. It's a mobile, mobile Let's Play. Now that uh, iOS 11 is out and you can do screen capturing very easily. So I figured let's give the AR kit a whirl and this is zombie gunship ar so that classic zombie gunship game that's been out for a while on ios but now with augmented reality so as you can see here i am playing in my living room i just scanned the area a little kitty in the background there he's having fun trying to figure out what the hell i'm doing and uh, i'm playing right here on my coffee table so the base actually detected the table dropped right there as you can see my placemats underneath all ready for fall. Can't really see that but, uh, with the effect going on, but yeah, those are fall colors because it's getting cold here in the Northeast. So uh, we got our zombies coming in here. Now, one thing I noticed, and again, I'm playing with the camera mode on, is you can see the zombies are coming off the table there. So now I'm actually switching over to the uh, game texture version, I guess we can call it, but basically the camera will not be on. It's going to be running to do the augmented reality scanning that it needs to do but it's not showing my actual environment that I'm playing it world that I'm playing in real life in the background so uh, I, again I don't know if it's a limitation of the game or my phone now I'm playing this on an iPhone 6s plus which I believe is the uh, lowest end model that you can play AR kick games on and I might be able to go to the SE but I don't know where, where does that fall? Is it considered lower than the 6S or a half a step above? But needless to say, I think this is the lowest end that you can kind of play these games on. So the thing is, is I don't know if it's because of the phone and it can't, it can't do the scanning of the area as well as the new dual lens phones can do because they got a telephoto lens and everything and they can detect uh, the different um, depth of field in the real world. So is that that might be why they're the zombies are kind of just coming off and floating through thin air where the table isn't. Uh, it also could just be a limitation of the game because this is one of the first uh, AR kid games to actually hit the iOS app store. So it might just be a limitation of the game where they're not actually able to detect you know edges to uh, render out the characters uh, properly. But uh, you know we'll see we'll see down the road how that changes. Uh, maybe if you if you have an iPhone uh, seven. Uh, or the new 8 and you give this a whirl you know drop it in the comments if it actually can detect edges like that but needless to say we'll play with the game textures on here I actually think it looks better especially since they're just basically doing a filter and it's not like there's this crazy colored world or anything being rendered out so so uh, you know again if you have never played gun zombie gunship before the original game was you pilot a gunship you're protecting a base from invading zombie hordes and in the original game because there was no AR kit back then the gunship would just kind of circle around and you can move around and then fire and take out the hordes as they come in but now with this you're in control of the gunship fully or its guns I should say by walking around moving around leaning in and out so actually me moving around here is from me walking around and looking at different spots on my coffee table. When you see me zoom in, that's actually me leaning in towards the coffee table. I'm not pinching or doing anything like that on the screen. So it's actual movements controlling the camera and the viewpoint that you're seeing, which is really freaking awesome. Oh, it, again, you need a you need a fairly large space to do this in because you know, it needs to kind of scan. You need to have some room to walk around that. I said large space, but you know, I'm playing on a coffee table, so it's not, you know, it doesn't have to be a gymnasium or anything like that. Uh, but you need, it does need some room. It does need lighting also. That's that's probably the most important aspect of augmented reality with iOS is it needs lighting. And it needs that because the way it works is when you start up the game or as you saw the level there, it kind of scans the area. It finds spots and then it tracks your movements to those spots. So it's picking out hundreds of spots all over my table and moving that way now like I had my um, placemats out there so if I actually move the placemats around but didn't move myself you would see it move because those tracking spots that it would be using are moving uh, 
so that's why it needs light. It can't be in the dark. So the more light you have, the better the tracking will be. I gotta say though, this is just a single living room lamp, nothing too crazy, and it does really well. I mean, occasionally I would see the base kind of jitter a little bit, but again, nothing really major. Again, it's really awesome. So this is me leaning in and zooming in nice and close so I can pick off these guys and Oh boy, they are taking down my base defenses pretty well, which is not good. So you have these, you have walls up that, that you know, slows them down. And then you have uh, various guns here as well. And they will take those out as we just saw there at the top of the screen. And now I think the end is near. Oh, they took out the other gun as well. So now I have no assistance at all. My gun's overheating. Uh, it's only a level four. Again, it's a Mark One, so not very powerful you know, does minimal damage overheats really quick and uh you know let's see here i got some crates so we got three crates some cash so the cash is going to allow us to upgrade and the crates are going to have weapon parts in there so we can also upgrade you need both so we have some i think we also have some new weapons that look like yep we have the that looks like it's a mark ii machine gun and you can see there, that's all the weapons that we'll be able to find throughout the game. So here we go, the Mark II. And both these guns we can upgrade, so we should probably do that as well. And again, we'll spend the cash to do that. That's just going to give us more damage, better uh, reload or you know heat dissipation. So one thing, with, again, with AR, because the way that it works is it tracks spots. So depending on how you scan and set up is going to be you know how it's going to track and, and the viewpoint viewpoint of how it's going to track so if i sit down and i start close the me going up is going to actually be further away because it's kind of you know, it was like all right here's the standard viewpoint and view you know view at a standard distance and then here's the zoomed out distance of it so by me sitting down it's already starting at let's say 10 meters but then if i stand up then let's say in game that's considered you know 20 meters but the thing is if i start standing up that view is going to be 10 meters and then i can zoom in so it's kind of like it, depending on how you start is uh, is how the various uh, movements are going to work in the game so i found actually with this game and this time i sat down to do it just to kind of show you but i can't zoom in as far because of that the first game I actually stood up and did and and, uh, and laid the base down so I would definitely suggest uh, standing up uh, you know again if <laughs> the play area permits it but it'll definitely give you a better experience and um, allow you to kind of zoom in more and really pick off the zombies well otherwise you kind of kind of far out there I mean it's, it's playable like you know as you can see here right? it's, it's playable but it was definitely more enjoyable uh, when I'm standing up and playing. So one thing now that I have two guns, so as you can see, it's uh, left and right side of the screen. Uh, what I can do is alternate. That's probably a really good tactic. You know, again, depending on how the waves are, but you know they're gonna get, probably get really crazy here in a second. So you can alternate uh, using guns, and that allows you know one gun to cool off while the other one, you know, is tearing up the zombies. So you can kind of always have. Uh, lead being thrown down onto the battlefield and then of course if you need it when you have like like this like crazy hordes getting close you can unload with both guns and do a lot of damage so but uh i don't know how far we're gonna go we're already up to level s wave seven but they're already through some of the base defenses now this is also scenario two should have mentioned that beforehand so the base is set up a little bit differently a little bit more defenses here as you can see and now uh, things are getting a little crazy here. We got two of these big bosses, so we're gonna really unload on them. But I already have one gun down. There's actually four, I believe there's four base guns on this scenario. So but this guy is just gonna tear through my walls and just not gonna be good. And we're up to wave eight. So as you can see, there's two uh, two more smaller guns further back. Now they've already taken out two of the four guns, so that's not good for business at all. And those guys are just kind of going in. Now the one thing is they are zombies, so they like to walk in straight lines here. So I can actually probably position myself and just kind of keep mowing them down. Use 
use what is left of the base as a choke point. But there's those hordes are they look vicious and dense. So I got a feeling once they get up to the rest of the base defenses, they're going to just tear through them like no tomorrow. Oh boy. And then and then also you gotta throw in the fact that my guns are you know, gonna be overheating. It'll be nice once I get four weapons and uh, can do a little bit more alternating. It'll also be nice to have some weapons that have some massive splash damage. Uh, machine guns very focused fired, so you're not getting a whole you, you're basically taking out just the one target that you're uh, aimed at. You're not really doing much damage to the group. So this is this is gonna be over quick. What is there? Four four big guys in there now? Three? Three still up? Yeah, they just tear right or two still up. And they just tear right through. Oh boy. Oh boy. And my guns are in the crapper. And here we go. Run to the boat, everyone, run to the boat! And that's all she wrote. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at what I unlocked, and then um, hopefully I can do some upgrades. Hopefully I got some new weapons. Oh, there we go. Looks like we got the rocket launchers and a larger, like, artillery-esque type gun here. So that's awesome. We can't upgrade any of my older weapons, but it looks like we can do at least a single level upgrade on both these new weapons here so that's awesome so what i'll do is i will end this episode here and tomorrow i'll have another episode and we'll play with these new weapons so make sure to click subscribe thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this check it out ios 11 ar kit zombie gunship ar